is happening? Flying to Hyderabad to give a TED talk, and this is all because of you guys. So excited, obviously I was on final call again, but managed to get onto the flight. This is happening. We landed. Namaste, Hyderabad. <laughs> Happy to meet you for the first time. Just got in the car and this girl is responsible for all of this. <laughs> Introduce yourself, who are you? I study in Guru Nanak institutions and I'm really looking forward to the Vana's talk tomorrow. Thank you yeah. so much for inviting me. She Thank she so like proposed me as a speaker. Like yeah. she's so sweet and look yeah. how cute she is. <laughs> oh finally, my gosh. Like after months and months, she's finally in Hyderabad. Like actually Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you originally born in Hyderabad? Or no, I was born in Karnataka. From? Okay. But then uh, I've No, but where in Karnataka? Ballari. It's a small town oh, in okay. Karnataka, okay. but then uh, brought okay. up in Hyderabad. In Hyderabad, yeah. okay. And what do you study? I study computer science engineering, second year. Damn girl, <laughs> go for it. And look what she got me. This so, yeah. girl knows me and well. You all know that it's her favorite. Yes. She's actually planning to get you a paneer wrap. <gasps> and, uh, Oh but my I, gosh. I couldn't find any McDonald's here, so. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> like this totally makes my day. Let's do this. We're off to practice. <laughs> yeah. Bye. On the 10th of July of 2017, I found myself at Amsterdam Airport Simple in a line for passport control with a one way ticket to India because I decided to take that road of Greece to India. The road not taken. First, let me properly introduce myself. Namaste. Hi, my name is Ivana. I promised you. Okay, by now, <laughs> some of you, or maybe all of you, are thinking she just came here to eat her love, to find herself. Well, you're not entirely wrong because I love paneer <laughs> and one day India will definitely run out of paneer because this paneer princess ate it all. <laughs> However, I also genuinely feel I have a duty to show the beautiful side of this country. And despite what all the world feels compelled to say about India, I genuinely feel that there is a true road of dreams in this country and that there are many dreams that you can realize here. I'm currently on my way to GNI. It is the day of my TED talk. Yesterday while I was practicing, I blacked out at least three times. It is very exhausting because you put a lot of energy in the, in the practicing as well. So. This morning I also practiced on my way to G and I am also going to practice and I asked them if I could practice one more time on stage during lunch break or something. I'm not nervous, I just want to get it right because I feel believe, I believe, wow, <laughs> I believe that the story deserves to be told well. So let's see how this works out. Okay, last preparations. We are here. I just did my talk on the stage and it went quite well. Ah, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Cheers. Uzma, the other speaker, is going after me. She's now on stage. She also has a beautiful, beautiful talk and she's going to practice now. It's a surprise. <laughs> Oh. No matter what you do or what you think you can't, you will be able to if you put your mind to it. I truly believe failure happens only when you give up. So don't give up. Now, I want to say that this is my thought. I'm hoping because I even Googled it. Okay, I even Googled it to check if this is originally my thought because, you know, uh, we take everything. But apparently, uh, it's not. So I'm going to say that this is my quote. 
Having said this, I just want to end with telling you all that no matter what you might have been through, no matter what you're going through, things will get better if you don't give up. Things will get better. It takes time, but it will. You just have to keep working on yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever it takes. But you will get better. So the first two speakers have been on stage, Miss Natasha Noel, she was phenomenal. Over here we have this beautiful Usma. Hello. And I haven't spoken yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And I am right after um, the Veneer Princess here, which is the new title. How do you feel about TEDx J&I until I think now? it's a phenomenal event. I mean, first of all, it's all student created. Yeah. And when you're here and you see the amount of work and effort and effort, Energy. It's one thing to get, um, you know, a directive and to get a packaged product and you just implement it, but it's another thing to build it from the ground up yourself. And there's just so much love and energy because we all the so students hard. here work so hard to put this they're together. So sweet. And they're so sweet. And then yeah. you just see like how they put their heart and soul into every little detail, like yeah. every little thing, like the letters. Yeah. And the, so and the you have to see this. This they made by hand. So let's zoom in on this board over here. This is thread and nails. Right. They made it completely by hand. Look at this. Yeah. Now that's dedication. Right. Yeah. So beautiful. I went to be in a class of 30 women entrepreneurs who were from diverse backgrounds. Believe me, you have to be in a situation an electric situation like that to understand what I mean. I was charged. I was so motivated that I said, I want to grow this even further. When I graduated in the May of 2009, I could not afford to bring my children to the graduation ceremony. I went on stage alone to receive what was the biggest achievement of my life at the time. And I understood something about life at that time, that in some of your best moments, you are often alone. And I accepted that with a bit of sadness, but it also taught me equanimity. We've had five talks until now. Yes, of course. It's so much yeah. fun. But right now, it is time for something else that's really fun. That's lunch. We have a beautiful lunch buffet over here. Lots of veggies. Yum, 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 yum. Corn bullets. Oh, I need to try those. that when adversity hit me again, I would be able to fight the adversity, rise above the situation, and come out ahead. So what does the science tell us about the two reactions? The individual that goes into the victim state 
and the individual that fights the adversity and moves beyond. I came across a fascinating phenomenon called post-traumatic growth. Post-traumatic growth searches beyond resilience. It actually looks for the growth that occurs in an individual after a major life crisis. Yeah, we have a group for those I love you. I love you. And really good. Ivana, you did a fantastic job as well. And I feel like the best gift I got out of this session is I made so many wonderful friends. Definitely. And I love spending so much time with you. Yes, You're awesome. So are you. So are you. This is the team behind everything. Part of the team, let's be real. You guys did such an amazing job. So, well, oh, you guys are like seriously, seriously professionals. You made this as stress free as possible, and you guys are amazing. Good job. And after the talk, we eat paneer Maggie, the gourmet version. Ooh. Currently waiting to board my flight for Bangalore, and I didn't vlog anything anymore after I came home from TEDx because I just wanted to let everything sink in. Team TEDx GNI, thank you so much for having me. This was absolutely a very, very inspiring event. I love the preparation for the event. I love giving the talk. I am so happy to have met Natasha. I completely forgot to vlog her, but she was so on fire when she was on stage. She was really well i have been following her for a long time on social media and she's such an inspiring person make sure to follow her natasha noel 001 and then usma was also amazing the tabla guy the band still every single day while i do my makeup i listen to a ted talk because i completely rediscovered it i haven't watched ted talks in over 10 years because i started watching them in the beginning and then somehow it got all too random and now i'm like no my friends you need to check out all the tedx talks and all the regular ted talks and the book is also really good the team did such a good job congratulations guys and i hope you get to do it again thank you for having me i really hope you guys enjoyed this tedx gni vlog i have to go they are calling final call on my flight there are definitely three more vlogs from hyderabad coming up so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to discover hyderabad with me and many more plans okay it's really final call thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye